Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting via a kind donation to George Carlin on some cultural issues. Let's see what he has to say. Here we go. Something else I don't understand. Motivation tapes, motivation books. What happened here? Suddenly everybody needs to be motivated? It's a fairly simple thing. Either you want to do something or you don't. What's the big mystery? Besides, if you're motivated enough to go to the store to buy a motivation book, aren't you motivated enough to do that? So you don't need the book. Put it back. Tell the clerk, fuck you. I'm motivated. I'm going home. I'm going home. All right. And can anyone explain to me the need for one hour photo finishing? <laughs> you just saw the fucking thing! <laughs> how, how can you possibly be nostalgic about a concept like a little while ago? That's so funny because it's not very common anymore to go get your photos, uh, like, finished, printed out. I have one of my best friends, he's a photographer and he shoots on a 35 millimeter digital camera, not digital, is that what they're called? Like analog cameras where he has to go get them printed out and it takes all day long. And just to think about like, at one point it used to be like an hour photo processing was like, oh, that's amazing, you can do it in an hour. But yeah, that's true, like, I don't know, why would you need it immediately? Who knows? But there's reasons, I'm sure. That just was super nostalgic to even think about photo printing another complaint too many vehicles there are some families in this country own entirely too many vehicles you see them on the highway in an rv but that's not enough for them rv is not enough behind them the they're bag. towing a motorboat go-kart dune buggy dirt bike jet ski snowmobile parasail hang glider windsurfing <laughs> equipment a hot air balloon and a small two-man deep sea diving bell doesn't anyone just take a fucking walk anymore? <laughs> the only thing these people lack is a lunar excursion module. Too many oh, choices, what? America. It's not healthy. <laughs> Another abomination. White guys over 10 years of age who wear their baseball hats backwards. <laughs> only white guys? Listen. Let me tell you something. You're never going to be as cool as black guys. It's not going to happen. You're white and you're lame. <laughs> he, they zoomed in on a guy with his hat backwards. I'm hot. This I'm already like laughing is making me hot. So I'm going to take off my little shacket that I have on. Oh my gosh. Sir, I would have turned my hat around so quickly. You wouldn't have even known my hat was on backwards. Are you kidding? And you're lame. Is he looking right at him? It's a fucking law of nature. <laughs> Turning your hat around and learning a complicated handshake will not make you cool. And you black guys, since you started the whole thing, I'm going to let you stay with the hats a little bit longer. But I think really, once you qualify for social security, it's time to spin that motherfucker around to the front again. Another tip, another tip for the men. The earring, the thing with the earrings, it's over. It's been over for a long time. Doesn't mean anything anymore. It was supposed to piss off the squares. The squares are wearing them now. Doesn't mean anything, it's just fucking jewelry. Unless you have an earring with a live baby hanging from it. It's just jewelry. And I want you to know I'm in- Why would you have an earring with a live baby hanging from it? What did I miss there? Um, I follow this YouTube YouTuber. Um, she vlogs and she always talks about how cringy it is to her that men wear like she calls them dangly cross earrings to be very specific. <laughs> it's such a pet peeve for her um, that now anytime I see it, I'm like, oh, gosh, like maybe it's a pet. I never cared, never had an opinion for it a day in my life until now. So it's funny that he brought that up. <laughs> with a live baby hanging from it. <laughs> It's just jewelry. And I want you to know I'm in favor of self-mutilation and personal disfigurement. I've always said there's nothing like puncturing and perforating your skin in a dozen or so places in order to demonstrate your high self-esteem. When I see a young man decorating his scalp with a soldering iron, I say, there's a happy guy. <laughs> Thinks highly of himself. 
And haven't we gone a little overboard with these colored ribbons for different causes? Every cause has its own colored ribbon now. Red for AIDS, blue for child abuse, pink for breast cancer, green for the rainforest, purple for urban violence. I got a brown one, you know Some what it means? Eat changed. shit, motherfucker! Eat shit, motherfucker! Oh my God. And what can we do to silence these Christian athletes? who thank Jesus whenever they win, never mention his name when they lose. Not a word. You never hear him say, Jesus made me drop the ball. <laughs> the good Lord tripped me up behind the line of scrimmage. According to these guys, Jesus is undefeated. Meanwhile, these assholes are in last place. <laughs> Must be another one of those miracles. And speaking of delusional people, what about a guy who hears a voice in his head tells him to kill his entire family, so he does it? Is this the only thing a voice in the head ever tells these people to do is to kill others? Doesn't a voice ever tell a guy, go take a shit on the salad bar at Wendy's? Oh my gosh, I forgot that Wendy's used to have like a, like it was like Ruby Tuesdays, like it used to have a, a buffet situation. The fact that I'm old enough to remember that, hi guys. It's me. I'm a millennial. Get <laughs> on the salad bar at Wendy's. <laughs> doesn't a voice, doesn't a voice tell a guy to take out his dick on the merry-go-round once in a while? Well, some guys do take out their dicks on the merry-go-round, but usually it's their own idea. <laughs> Something else I can do without aftershave and cologne. And this disgusting shit that men put on their bodies. Just what I need in the elevator. Some guy standing next to me smells like a fucking pine tree. I said, go home and wash, you smelly prick. Oh, you smell like the like urinal in a Portuguese wash. cat house. <laughs> God damn, guys are stupid. Guys are really fucking dumb. They think they're going to get laid with this stuff, you know. Oh, yeah, they put it on at home. Oh, boy, oh, boy, I'll get laid tonight. I'll get laid tonight. You don't get laid with green shit that comes out of a bottle, okay? And the only smell that's going to help you get laid might be your own natural scent. You have pheromones. It's a secondary sex characteristic. People in America, oh, nervous about sex. They want to cover that up and disguise it. Guys in Europe, they know how to live. Guy gets in the elevator over there, he smells like a pile of dog shit. <laughs> Those people are sophisticated. Getting pretty tired of these guys walking around in cowboy hats and cowboy boots. You ever see these jackals? Can we kill some of these motherfuckers? Walking. walking around in a fucking cowboy hat. Grown man. It's not even. Why is he walking like that? <laughs> what? That's like what cowboys walk like in his head because I've never seen a cowboy walk like that ever in my life. He's like. <laughs> we kill some of these motherfuckers. Walking around oh. a fucking cowboy hat. Grown man. It's not even Halloween, for Christ's sake. <laughs> I say, hey, Tex, grow up and get yourself a wardrobe consistent with the century you're living in. Oh, my Why God. Why do certain men feel the need to dress up as mythic figures? You don't see anyone walking around in a pirate costume, do you? <laughs> When's the last guy you ran into had on a Viking outfit? <laughs> Make-believe cowboys. Closest they ever got to a cow is when they stopped to take a piss at an Arby's. And camcorders. Here is technology gone berserk. Everywhere you go now, there's some dick, some yo-yo, some putts with a camcorder, and he is going to tape everything. I wonder if George was still with us today, what his take would be on these. I don't know when he passed, so he could have a bit where he's talking about the phones and, you know, the, the cameras and the apps, but... I wonder what he'd say now. Doesn't anyone in this country just stop and look at things anymore? Sort of take them in? No. Maybe even <laughs> remember them? No. Is that just a strange notion? Does, that, does experience have to be documented and brought home and saved on a shelf? And do people really watch this shit? Are people's lives so bankrupt they sit at home looking at things they already did? <laughs> These guys are so intense, you know. It's always guys. They won't let women touch the cameras. It's a highly technical skill. <laughs> Look through a hole, push on a button, big skill. And they're, they all think they're Federico Fellini. Ever seen any of this? <laughs> Low angles, zooms and pans. And it's the same ugly three children in every goddamn shot. 
All the George Lucas magic in Hollywood is not going to change the unfortunate genetic configuration on the faces of these children. Keep these unfortunate youngsters out of public view. <laughs> now, yeah. Yeah. a lot of these... Hold on a sec. A lot of these cultural crimes I've been complaining about can be blamed on the baby boomers. Something else I'm a little tired of hearing about. The baby boomers. Whiny, narcissistic, self-indulgent people with a simple philosophy. Give me it, it's mine! <laughs> Give me that, it's mine! These people were given everything. Everything was handed to them. And they took it all, took it all. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and they stayed loaded for 20 years and had a free ride. But now they're staring down the barrel of middle-aged burnout, and they don't like it. They don't like it, so they've turned self-righteous. And they want to make things hard on younger people. They tell them, abstain from sex. Say no to drugs. As for the rock and roll, they sold that for television commercials a long time ago. <laughs> So they could buy pasta machines <laughs> and Stairmasters and soybean futures. <laughs> soybean futures. You know? I would really love to see what he had to say about the world now. Oh my goodness. I'd love to hear George's take on the world as it is post Panadana. Panorama. Pananana, if you know what I'm saying. If you don't, laugh a little. Soybean future. Soybean you know future. Something? They're cold, bloodless people. It's in their slogans. It's in their rhetoric. No pain, no gain. Just do it. Life is short. Play hard. Shit happens. Deal with it. Get a life. These people went from do your own thing to just say no. They went from love is all you need to whoever winds up with the most toys wins. And they went from cocaine to Rogaine. <laughs> and you know something? They're still counting grams, only now it's fat grams. And the worst of it is the rest of us have to watch these commercials on TV for Levi's loose-fitting jeans and fat-ass docker pants. Because these degenerate yuppie boomer cocksuckers couldn't keep their hands off the croissants and the haagen -Dazs. And their big fat asses have spread all over and they have to wear fat ass docker pants. Fuck these boomers, fuck these yuppies, and fuck everybody now that I think of it. George is unleashing, unleashing. Oh my goodness gracious. Sometimes in we comedy you, you have to generalize. Now there's one thing you might have noticed I don't complain about. Politicians. Everybody complains about politicians. Everybody says they suck. Yeah. Well, where do people think these politicians come from? The people in they the crowd are the hilarious. Sky. They don't pass through a membrane from another reality. They come from American parents and American families, American homes, American schools, American churches, American, American businesses, boats. and American universities, and they're elected by American citizens. This is the best we can do, folks. This is what we have to offer. It's what our system produces. Garbage in, garbage out. If you have selfish, ignorant citizens, if you have selfish, ignorant citizens, you're going to get selfish, ignorant leaders. And term limits ain't going to do you any good. You're just going to wind up with a brand new bunch of selfish, ignorant Americans. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's not the politicians who suck. Maybe something else sucks around here. Like the public. Yeah, the public sucks. There's a nice campaign slogan for somebody. The public sucks. The public sucks. Fuck hope. Fuck hope. Because if it's really just the fault of these politicians, then where are all the other bright people of conscience? Where are all the bright, honest, intelligent Americans ready to step in and save the nation and lead the way? We Great don't have question. people like that in this country. Great Everybody's question. at the mall, scratching his ass, picking his nose, taking his credit card out of his fanny pack and buying a pair of sneakers with lights in them. <laughs> I never had a pair of LA gears and I always wanted a pair. Always wanted a pair of LA gears.
And a pair of sneakers with lights in them. So I have solved this little political dilemma for myself in a very simple way. On election day, I stay home. I don't vote. Fuck them. Fuck them. I don't vote. Two reasons. Two reasons I don't vote. First of all, it's meaningless. This country was bought and sold and paid for a long time ago. The shit they shuffle around every four years (laughs) doesn't mean a fucking thing. And secondly, I don't vote because I believe if you vote, you have no right to complain. People like to twist that around. I know they say they say, well, if you don't vote, you have no right to complain. But where's the logic in that? If you vote. And you elect dishonest, incompetent people, and they get into office and screw everything up. Well, you are responsible for what they have done. You caused the problem. You voted them in. You have no right to complain. I, on the other hand, (laughs) who did not vote, who did not vote, who, in fact, did not even leave the house on election day, I'm in no way responsible for what these people have done and I have every right to complain as loud as I want about the mess you created that I had nothing to do with. (laughs) So I know that a little later on this year you're going to have another one of those really swell presidential elections that you like so much. You'll enjoy yourselves. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm sure as soon as the election is over, your country will improve immediately. (laughs) As for me, I'll be home on that day doing essentially the same thing as you. The only difference is when I get finished masturbating, I'm going to have a little something to show for it, folks. (laughs) Thank you very much. Oh, George, 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 George. Well, he left nothing unsaid, no stone unturned. And you get to decide how much of it you think is true, how much you agree with. (laughs) It was funny, though. Oh, man. All right, y'all. Go have the day you deserve. Peace.